in this lecture we will discuss isolation or different techniques used for isolation of material cells isolation so the name itself reveals the meaning of the term isolation isolation it is the process of separating bacteria from complex biological mixtures into their pure cultures so it is a well known fact that microbial habitat is a complex mixture of variety of microorganisms bacteria in their natural habitat exist in variety of different mixtures different varieties in mixture exist in nature and to identify them one has to isolate them from such complex mixtures and for that we use variety of different techniques those techniques are called as pure culture techniques or techniques of isolation so isolation techniques they are also called as pure culture techniques so what are pure cultures pure cultures are the cultures containing only one characteristic unique species of bacteria for example i am having a culture and that culture contains only the cells belonging to staphylococcus aureus variety then that culture is considered as the pure culture if if that culture contains any single cell of some other variety say for example the culture of staph aureus if it accidentally got contaminated and it contains a single uh, culture uh, sorry it contains a single spore of uh, penicillium variety then that culture cannot be considered as a pure culture as it contains more than one bacterial variety principles used for isolation so variety of different principles are utilized for the isolation of bacteria into their pure culture the important principles are given here repressive selection selective enrichment and differential cleaving so these are the three main principles which are used in the isolation of bacteria into their pure cultures what is repressive selection so use of inhibitory substances in the composition of culture media to suppress unwanted bacteria it is called as repressive selection selective enrichment so use of particular ingredients or some special ingredients which will help growth of specific bacterial cells is called as a selective medium what is differential plating differential plating is the use of differential ingredients in the composition of a culture medium which will help easy differentiation so the microorganism of your interest and the unwanted bacteria they can be easily differentiated by use of various differential ingredients for example use of ph indicators so use of ph indicators or use of color producing substrate it is most common in case of isolation ph indicators like uh, phenol red neutral red these are commonly found in the bacteriological culture media macaulay's agar it contains a ph indicator phenol red and because of that phenol red indicator the lactose fermenting bacteria which produce acid they appear pink so pink colonies those are lactose fermenters they can be easily detected from the white or yellowish colonies which are non lactose fermenters selective enrichment so use of specific carbon sources specific supplements which will permit only the growth of specific bacteria it is called as selective enrichment and use of some inhibitory substances so consider the same example macaulay's agar macaulay's agar contains inhibitory substances like bile salts or semi synthetic bile derivatives along with crystal violet an antibacterial dye which will inhibit the growth of gram positive and non enteric bacterial cells while it permits the growth of gram negative bacteria like e coli that is why 
these inhibitory substances help in the isolation now what are the techniques which are used for the isolation there are variety of techniques used for the isolation these techniques are also called as pure culture techniques the techniques are as follows strict plate method pour plate method spread plate method use of micro manipulator and a roll tube method so here the strict plate method is explained strict plate method the bacterial mixture is transferred uh, near to one end of the edge of the agar plate and with the help of inoculating loop it is spread over the surface of the agar in one of the several different patterns so the pattern which is shown here it is called the pattern strip so here the first inoculum is prepared a smear is prepared and from the smear the bacteria are spread out over the agar surface so here uh, the four quadrant strip method is shown this is quadrant number 1 after that the loop is sterilized and again we use it for the sticking into quadrant number 2 after that that is after the crossover strip the loop is re-sterilized and we do the crossover strip in the third quadrant and after the third quadrant we again sterilize the loop and we do the sticking in the fourth quadrant the goal of sticking is to thin out the initial load of bacteria so that at the end of sticking there will be well isolated or well separated colonies of the bacteria and these bacteria can be easily picked and subculture so the sticking it is done with the intention to thin out the load of bacteria and at the end of the sticking that is near uh, uh, the fourth quadrant or uh, here somewhere at the end of the sticking there must be a well separate or well isolated colonies strict plate method it is most common technique and it is most extensively used for the isolation of bacteria it is used for aerobic facultative anaerobic as well as anaerobic bacterial cells spread plate technique so here uh, the diluted bacterial mixture which is containing 100 to 200 cells or less is transferred on the surface of a solidified agar plate so here you can see the sample is pipetted onto the surface of the agar plate nearly 0.1 ml or uh, less quantity is taken and with the help of a glass spreader that quantity is spread evenly on the agar surface so the glass spreader which is uh, generally a l shaped spreader is used for spreading that inoculum evenly onto the agar surface the sample is spread evenly over the agar surface with the help of that sterile glass spreader after that the plates are kept for incubation incubation is generally done at optimum temperature mostly 37 degree and thereafter the colonies which are produced by the bacteria they are observed and the bacteria with this desired colony characteristic is picked and isolated so this is a spread plate technique the agar the solidified agar is used the inoculum is spread on the surface and that is why it is it is also called as the surface inoculation of spread plate technique the glass rod is normally sterilized by dipping it into the alcohol and then by flaming the alcohol is flamed that the glass rod is flamed so that the alcohol will burn off and will get sterilized after incubation the colonies which are obtained from those colonies the desired colonies are picked and they are subcultured uh, here the third technique that is pour plate technique is explained the original mixture or the mixture of bacterial cells mixed broth culture it is diluted serially so here you can see the tenfold dilutions are prepared from this mixture 1 ml is taken and it is added to 9 ml of sterile saline from this first diluted sample 1 ml is withdrawn 
and it is diluted to next 9 ml and from here we withdraw 1 ml and we add 9 ml saline to it so here the dilutions are like this this is the original sample as compared to this sample this sample is 100 times dilute sorry 10 times dilute the second sample is 100 times dilute as compared to the original sample and the third sample is 1000 times dilute as compared to the original sample so uh, the concentration decreases in this order this is the one this is 10 raised to minus 1 this is 10 raised to minus 2 this one is 10 raised to minus 3 if we consider the dilutions here it is 10 here it is 100 here it is 1000 after serial dilution uh, 1 ml from the mixture or 1 ml from the diluted sample is taken and that 1 ml is added directly to the plate in which the liquefied agar which is cooled to nearly 40 or 45 degree temperature is added generally 1 ml of inoculum is added to 15 ml of agar thereafter the plates are allowed to gel and then the incubation is carried out the incubation is mostly carried out at the optimum temperature and the colonies grown on the surface of the agar they are simply observed as you can see as the dilution increases there is a better chance of getting a well isolated colony the plate which gives the colony count between 25 to 300 that plate is selected and from that dilution the isolated bacteria can be separated this technique power plate technique it is also used for the quantitative measurement of bacterial cells use of micro manipulators so micro manipulators the device which is shown in the diagram it is a micro manipulator these devices they are capable of gently sucking the single cells from the mixture micro manipulators they are used to physically interact with the sample under microscope where a level of precision of movement is necessary micro manipulators are usually used in conjunction with microscopes depending on the application one or more micro manipulators may be fitted to a microscope stage or rigidly mounted to a bench next to a microscope uh, roll tube method a very useful method for the isolation of anaerobic bacteria so here the culture that is bacterial culture it is present in the form of uh, agar which is present in the tube the gas cannula is uh, placed at the top of that test tube near the opening of the test tube which constantly supplies the CO2 gas the media tube is placed on the uh, motor head which constantly rotates with the help of that electrical motor the media tube is kept under rotation the inoculation loop is held against the agar surface initially the inoculation is done at the bottom and thereafter the loop is raised slowly and after inoculation the tube is restoppered the tube is restoppered and the media is incubated anaerobically so this technique it is used for stringent anaerobic bacteria as anaerobic cells they cannot survive uh, even the little concentration of oxygen and to maintain the anaerobic environment the CO2 cannula or the gas cannula is supplied inoculation it is done at the bottom first and as the tube is kept under rotation we slowly raise the loop at the bottom we get a confluent growth but near to the top we get a well isolated colonies so this is another important technique which is helpful for the isolation of anaerobic bacteria so this is it these are the techniques which are used for the isolation of anaerobic bacteria in summary 
the techniques are strict plate method, four plate method, spread plate method, micro manipulators and roll tube methods.